Hello, my name is Derek McGilvery and welcome to my blog. Today's subject is about detoxification. Is there false hope? How many times have we looked on Facebook and we get bombarded with a new supplement, a new book, a new diet? How many of us actually spent a fortune and bought things and sometimes we don't even pick it up? And we still do the same things that create the same issues. Unless we get that brainwave and we do something different that actually does result in a weight loss or a healthier life. And that is, that is me. I mean, being diabetic, I've always got to watch my weight and health. And the way I recover from illness, and I've been ill recently, is by eating healthily, go for walks, do my meditations, a bit of self-care and doing things that I know that are good for me. And it's very easy to feel depressed and go and get that drink, go and get that sweetie, go and get that packet of crisps, and then drown and wallow when we've got issues going on that we're not facing. So there is alternatives, and I very often think that some of these fads and some of these diets, some of the detoxification adverts, give us false hope. You know, because you can't just go on eating uh, crap, for example, and, you know, fatty foods and stuff like that, and they still expect this miracle drug to work. And, you know, you can flush out your colon, there's all sorts of things. And I'm not saying that some of these tablets and things that don't work, because, you know, they can help and assist us, but we have to change our mindset. And that's, the, that's something we can change, because we all have learnt behaviours. And this is what we're on about. It's easy to take a drug or a pill and swallow it and feel a little bit better, right? And sometimes in clinical depression, you need that. But it's only a temporary solution. We have to deal with the issues, the anxieties, um, the problems, the history, the learned behaviours that cause these issues to come up time and time again. Emotions can make you ill. So if we have happy emotions, then we don't need the pill. We don't need that fancy diet, you know, and listen to your body. Your body tells you what it needs. And there's things like kinesiology, and that is based on the body talking to you. Fascinating. So there is a more holistic approach, and that's why I advocate is more, and I'm still learning, I'm always learning new techniques and looking at new, um, you could say supplements or natural herbs. I've recently got into gardening and I'm growing my own natural herbs. And the herb of oregano is a great one for, uh, you know, for me, especially just now after being in the hospital. And there's a lot like turmeric. There's a lots of natural remedies um, that don't need to be manufactured. You can do and use yourself. And there is people who are highly trained in like herbal and herbs and stuff like that. And it's always wise to seek their advice. And that all comes under holistic treatments as well and energy work and all that as well. Do we understand it all? No, I'm a learning, I'm a continuing learning about frequency learning, frequencies, sound baths, all these treatments, all these holistic treatments you know, can help and assist us in our well-being. So don't just read that article on Facebook or LinkedIn or somewhere else or TikTok or whatever. There's never a miracle cure. The only cure is up there in your own mind because the only person who can cure you is you. And if you want an appointment or want to start the journey, then click the button below or book an appointment with myself and let's look at positive actions that you can take to assist you today. Thanks for listening guys, have a great day, have a great week, have a great month and have a great life. Start now living your life. Thank you.